Hey, good morning, Dave. How you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for taking a few minutes. And uh, I know you're psyched up to be taking over that program, one of the best in South Jersey. Um, how did this all come about? Um, you know, I, I'm friends with Dennis Smith, and uh, I saw that he resigned. He stepped down. I shot him a text, and uh, I said, you know, what's going on? And somebody lined up, and he said, put, put in for it, put in for it. And I did, and luckily for me, it all worked out. <laughs> uh, now, Let's just remind the the listening audience about your uh, basketball pedigree. You're a member of the Hamilton High School Hall of Fame, over a thousand points in high school. Um, tell us about your high school career and and now how you approach it as a coach. I mean, you were obviously one of the best players in Hamilton High School history, but coaching's a whole different whole different ball game. Absolutely, uh, yeah. I, I played at Hamilton. Um, four-year varsity starter, like you said, 1,000-point scorer, and we had some prolific seasons. Um, unfortunately, never put a banner on the wall, though, during those four years. <laughs> um, so as a coach, you know, I think I've learned a lot from the coaches that i played from, um, and I've taken pieces from my high school coach, college coaches, coaches that I've coached under, um, and, and that's really helped to form my own, my own philosophy. And I think having been a point guard, kind of gives me a, a different view than maybe some coaches. Um, you know, the point guard's responsible for everybody out there, and that's kind of translated into my coaching style as well. Now, Jackie, you coached for a couple of years uh, over there at Hamilton. What did you learn in your first go-around as a coach? Um, patience, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I walked into to Hamilton's program, and it was a massive rebuilding situation. I mean, you know, like, the first year I was teaching girls how to do a right-handed layup correctly. I was teaching some of them how to hold the ball correctly. Wow. Um, so definitely a different animal than what I'm about to step into now. Um, but, you know, I, I learned a lot about making the most out of what you have, and my defensive game planning really, really developed a lot because that was how we stayed in games. Defense was the way that we stayed in games, won games, competed in games that we shouldn't have. Um, so I think that that prepared me and made me a better coach preparation wise because we had to really, really prepare constantly. There were, you know, there were no gimmies, even games that should have been gimmies weren't. Now you, you definitely going to have some talent to work with there at Holy Spirit. Uh, do you know any of those players? I know they, they lost a couple of uh, outstanding players, most notably their point guard, uh, Ayanna Jones, but there, there's definitely a lot of talent coming back. What do you know about the players uh, who were underclassmen last year? Um, I mean, honestly, I know that there's a lot of athleticism, a lot of high basketball IQ, which I'm looking forward to working with. I'm actually going down to Ocean City Monday night to watch them because uh, I only got a chance to see them play once this year. Um, so I'm excited to see what I have and, and, you know, start game planning and thinking about, you know, offensive strategies, defensive strategies, et cetera. Um, but, yeah, like you said, there's a ton of talent there and so much potential for growth, and, and I can't wait to get in there and get started. Talk about Jackie Sisko. She's the new head ba girls basketball coach at Holy Spirit. Uh, now, Jackie, you're, you're a teacher over at ACIT. You've been helping out with that girls basketball program for a couple of years now. Uh, what have you learned as as an assistant? It's a, it's a it's a whole different thing being an assistant uh, rather than the head coach, and uh, you know a lot of different responsibilities when you're the head coach. But sometimes it's good to be an assistant and just kind of uh, you know get down to the nuts and bolts of the sport. Right. It, it was interesting being an assistant uh, last year. You know, going from being the head coach to an assistant coach, and it really gave me an opportunity to maybe observe parts of the game that I wouldn't as a head coach. Um, you know, Jason Vanderay, he was great to work under. His style, his philosophy is gelled with mine. Um, and it was kind of neat not to be the head coach in terms of I had kind of a different relationship with the players. You know, the head coach sometimes the kids won't go to necessarily, whereas they felt comfortable coming to me. And, and it was it was definitely a good experience to be in that role. And um, really, especially coaching JV, it forced me to really have to work on fundamentals and and hone in on helping players develop their skills and not thinking so big in terms of, you know, game plan and, and, and things like that. So that definitely helped me get back to the roots of coaching for sure. Now, Jackie, what do you think the first day of practice is going to be like in November? I mean, it, you're, you're the new head coach at Holy Spirit, a lot of, a lot of pressure at that school. They're, they're used to having a, a winning program and a, and a championship-type uh, team there. 
What's that first practice going to be like for you? It's going to be intense. I mean, there's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of intensity, and we're going to get right down to business. I mean, I'm a coach that believes in fundamentals every day, so we will definitely be working on ball handling, box out drills, you know, the, the small things. I think it, it's the little things that separate good teams from great teams. Um, and, and we're we're going to work on the small things to ensure that we are a great team and we're able to push to that next level. And like I said before, defense. Defense is going to be a massive component of every single day for us. But that first practice, I mean, you know, I know I'm going to be pumped up. I hope the girls are going to be just as pumped up and we're going to get in there and and get it started and get rolling. So would it be accurate for me to give a a warning out there to any new uh, Holy Spirit players that don't come into first day of practice out of shape? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they definitely want to be in shape. Uh, conditioning is going to be a, a, a uh, integral part of, of our program. They, they, we have to be that team, you know, that that out hustles, out muscles, and we don't get tired in in the fourth quarter. We don't get tired if we go OT. I mean, those are the difference makers. And again, that's that's what makes great teams great teams. I know there's three words that every high school basketball player hates to hear. And they are on the baseline. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. That is very true. You hear that whistle blow on the baseline? Oh man! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you're in for it when you hear those words. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know what? It's for me. I, I don't use that as you know punishment. I like I try to weave conditioning into actual basketball skill drills too, so they're being conditioned without maybe even realizing it. Um, but yeah. Sometimes you have to say those three words on the line. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jackie, how difficult is it to get high school players to buy into defense? I mean, that's not an, an attractive thing for most uh, basketball players at that age. They want to they want to score. They want to shoot threes. And, and you're trying right. to tell somebody, hey, D somebody up at the three-point line. Ah, come on, coach. <laughs> right, right. Uh, well, I mean, I think that kids, you have to get kids to understand that defense is going to spark your offense. I mean, if you play great defense, you're going to get a lot of easy buckets. Um, and, you know, I'm a big uh, advocate for, for telling kids, you know, it's all about heart and guts, and I want kids that have heart, grit, tenacity, and guts. I mean, you don't have to be the best basketball player to play defense. You're going to play defense for me, you're going to see the court. You're going to play if you're going to play good defense. Because, you know what, we might score 60 points, but if the other team scores 61 points, you know what, we lose. So defense is going to be, you know, the key. To me, it, it's, it's a massive part of the high school game, and when you have kids that actually understand how to play good defense, it, just, it gives you an advantage that other teams don't have. And you can see it when you play certain teams that you know work on defense day in and day out. I mean, we saw teams this year that we struggled getting a shot off, and, and ACIT was a talented team. But we played some teams that were so defensively disciplined and understood the principles, and it's – you know, why Rancocas Valley, you know, beat us in the state tournament. Um, so I, I think it's just getting them to believe that defense is going to be a part of our offense because I want to play a high-tempo game. I want to get us easy, fast-break buckets. Um, so one, once they see that and understand that, I think that they'll buy in. And it's exciting when you can shut teams down and hold them. And I think making goals, saying, you know what, we're only going to give up 20 points in the first half. That's our goal. Nothing else will be acceptable. I, I think doing things like that and motivating them that way will get them to buy in. I, I think Holy Spirit started to get into a little bit more of a, an up-tempo game. Obviously, they had the players to do it last year with with Ayanna Jones running the point, and, and she was right. pretty aggressive. And uh, you know, it's going to be tough to replace her. But I, I think there's a little bit of a changing mentality over there to kind of not get away from the half court game, but hey, maybe push a little bit more. And and uh, right. I, I think they're, the girls are excited to kind of play that brand of basketball. Well, and that's exactly what I want. What I want to do, and I think that we have the basketball players and the athletes there to be able to do that. It's just going to be a matter of the conditioning piece. Because when you play that type of high tempo basketball, obviously you need to be in shape, um, and and you need to go a little deep on your bench as well. Um, so that's something that we're going to have to to develop um, throughout the season as we go along. And Jackie, I'm sure the commitment to to athletics there at Holy Spirit was a big draw for you to to be interested in that job. I mean, they they redid that entire basketball court. It looks tremendous over there, and yeah. and obviously the, those teams get a, a great following, great fan base. So that that's got to really energize you to be a part of that. 
type of program and you know hey they're gonna they're gonna spend a lot of money to redo the floor and make the gym look great and and it's it's got to be cool to be a part of something like that where the entire athletic department the fans the 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 local businesses everybody's kind of behind those programs oh absolutely i mean there's such a, a culture and tradition there for holy spirit girls basketball i mean i remember as a kid playing against them and playing in that gym and They've always been one of the top teams around, um, and to now be a part of that and kind of carry that torch, it, it means the world to me. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this is this is the job that I've been waiting for and kind of priming myself for, and I feel very, very fortunate to be a part of such a, a supportive community. I mean, you get that vibe the second you walk in the building. Everybody is just so welcoming and and seem so enthusiastic and, and passionate about what Holy Spirit has to offer, not just athletically, but also academically. And I, I'm excited to kind of, you know, be a spokesperson for the school and for the program. I, I can't wait. Well, Jackie, we're excited to see you out there on the court. And uh, we got to get through fall sports first, but we'll be excited for uh, high school right. basketball when it rolls around. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jackie. Have a good weekend. You too, Dave. That was Jackie Siscone, new head coach over Holy Spirit Girls Basketball. We're excited to see what she could do with that program.